Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and tonight we're on the red carpet for a wonderful organization, the Hispanic Federation. We'll be bringing you interviews with the legendary Rita Moreno, as well as the man with the hottest show in town, Lin-Manuel Miranda. So get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, with the ageless and absolutely ravishing Rita Moreno. Oh. Rita, you look gorgeous tonight. Thank you. Thank First of all, being here to support this wonderful organization, talk to me about being here, the work they're doing. It's incredible. You know, I, I sometimes wish that when I was a young girl, a Puerto Rican girl in New York or in America, that there had been such an organization to help out. Uh, I had nothing like that. There was nothing like this when I was a kid. So I am so grateful and proud uh, on behalf of my community that there are people, or there are organizations like this one. It's marvelous. I was thinking about you a couple weeks ago. I interviewed Gina Rodriguez, who just won the Golden Globe. I played her grandma. Did she tell you? No, but ah! I was. I was, I'm in an episode that's coming up. Oh, first of all, she's the best. But you open doors for people like her. You're a pioneer. And we were talking about minorities in Hollywood. When you look at what you were able to do, you were one of the first to really open up doors for Hispanic actresses and artists. Talk to me about that legacy that you have. Well, you know, it's hard to think of myself as a legacy. <laughs> it's a cool word, though. I, oh, it's, it's an amazing word. It's, uh, it's something that makes me feel very sincerely and seriously responsible. And, uh, you know, I've always been very close to my community. But, uh, I mean, this evening, for instance, is, is really quite extraordinary. And, you know, there are all these amazing people coming up. There's Gina, and there's Lynn manuel Miranda, who is nothing the less than... The hottest show in New York right now. Oh, I know, the isn't that show, great? The hottest show in New York. Well, I already saw the show, and I'm going to see it again when I bring my daughter to New York. We're going to do some wonderful things together. And uh, we're seeing the show. I just told him. He says, oh, great. You'll come backstage. I said, you kidding me? Of course. Absolutely. You had a fabulous year last year between getting a Lifetime Achievement oh, Award, yes. your book. Talk to me about what I you have an album coming out. High oh. five on that. No, this Talk is going to gonna, the this, album. You're going to love this because it's produced by Emilio Estefan. It's in Spanish. And in, in the album, I'm singing uh, somewhere from West Side Story in Spanish. Lin-Manuel Miranda, talk to me about how you've created the hottest show in New York. I mean, I was just talking to Rita Moreno. Everybody is so freaking excited about you being Alexander Hamilton. It's insane. Yeah, well, you know, it's just another immigrant from the Caribbean. <laughs> um, and um, I started writing this show while I was still in In the Heights uh, in 2008. So I've been writing it for about six years. Um, and the hard work has really paid off. It's been amazing uh, to see the reception it's gotten. We're moving to Broadway this summer. And, um, and I'm really excited for the next step. And I'm really excited to be here tonight. Um, because, you know, the Hispanic Federation was started by my dad in 1990. So to be honored by him is a very full circle moment. I used to do my homework in the Hispanic Federation offices. Um, so this is a very full circle moment for me. When you look at this organization, I was talking to Rita about this, she wishes there was an organization like this for her growing up. Talk to me about what this organization does and, and helps out in terms of the community. Yeah, well, it's, it's sort of our own umbrella organization, you know, in addition to the work they do, um, you know, putting out an annual survey that basically tells the world how Latinos eat and what they're watching and what they're doing. I mean, they are, um, they're sort of the preeminent in the field on that. They um, raise money for hundreds of member organizations that really need it. Uh, Latino organizations in the field of foster care, in the field of health, in the field of pretty much any field that affects Latinos, Hispanic Federation is doing something for them. And um, I'm really, uh, I'm honored that my dad has been a part of it for so long, and I'm honored to be an honoree tonight. I've, I've hosted it several times. I don't like hosting, but I host for them because I love this organization. So I'm just thrilled to be here tonight.